and Tesla. It's been a minute uh, since I brought you guys a new product release and today I finally, finally got my hands on a product I've been waiting for a very long time. Um, I've been waiting for this for over six months and it's the Tesla Starlink that is actually made by a company called SpaceX. And to give you a brief review, very brief review, what Starlink does and why this product is going to change the future, let's talk about the product experience altogether. So over six months ago, I put my name on a waiting list um, and uh, to get this product, Starlink is only available to selected customers in selected location. So you can actually buy this um, anywhere you are. It is based on your address. So you'll go to the Starlink website, enter your physical address, and then the website will put you on a waiting list or let you know when your location will be available for a Starlink connection. So I did that six months ago and I finally got an email saying the Starlink is available in my area. Um, so I went ahead and pulled the trigger to buy the Starlink. You do have to put an initial deposit, hardware deposit before you buy it. So I think it was at that time it was $100 to reserve the product and when it's available you pay the remaining balance. The hardware by itself is extremely expensive. It costs about 759 USD just to buy the Starlink hardware. The hardware uh, includes a dish, uh, which is like a flat panel, the base, the cable, and the modem. That's essentially what you get inside the box. And we'll take a look at that in just a minute to show you guys my packaging. On top of that, you actually have to um, go on the app, download the SpaceX app or the Starlink app, and then you will choose a package where they, uh, it's a no contract packages all the packages and you'll select the package that is right for you um so you the good thing about the package you can cancel it any time and the package varies in price it can go from 140 all the way up to 200 dollars usd and what that does it basically allows you to get the feed from the satellite to your dish and allows you to get that internet services wherever you're located so after I selected my plan, my plan worked out to be 140 USD a month, um, got my dish. Uh, the next step is taking your dish and make, there's about 4,000 Starlink available in space. That is crazy to have so many satellites in these low orbit around our planet. Um, and they, they go around the planet to provide coverage. It's similar to what you would experience from your cell phone company that has all these antennas and towers. With Starlink, it's cosmopolitan uh, feed. So it, it actually sends that feed from the cosmos down to Earth. And that way, the satellite, the receivers that we have, um, you're able to collect that feed and get your data feed to your internet, which is a really complicated way of explaining it. But that is essentially what it is. It's the satellite that uh, SpaceX have, they orbit the Earth, and they send feeds back into the dish. Hence, um, it's not available in all these bigger cities. It's only much available in the areas that don't have uh, great coverage. So you'll find these in these remote areas um, that definitely has a need to have better signal uh, services for data. Um, it was also uh, used in Ukraine war with Russia where Ukrainians were able to secure a bunch of receivers and was able to get data or Wi-Fi when um, fiber optics were not available and they're not able to get internet. Uh, Ukraine were able to use Starlink to um, get those data feeds in the war. So it is um, really, really advanced technology from Tesla and SpaceX, but it's a different way of sharing uh, feed. So current setup is, Usually fiber optics cable run across the globe and that provides data feed from countries to countries to be connected. Uh, Starlink is a different way of looking, it, of looking at it instead of cables running in the seabeds and all over the world. These are just satellite that orbits the earth and send up. So the idea is pretty fantastic. It's actually genius to have 
satellite is in the feed. I don't know how I feel about all these satellites and if they collide and what happened. Um, I'm not the expert, so I'm not gonna assume the worst there. Uh, but I really like the concept where you are not running cable across the globe because we know those cables can easily be uh, cut or uh, destroyed. So, next thing is obviously get a beautiful logo of a sticker, Starlink sticker. just traveling all the time and uh, because your lifestyle uh, requires you being on the road and traveling a lot uh, Starlink has that mobile internet speed so you're able to get internet wherever you are because the internet is getting powered by satellite uh, it gives you that awesome um, independence uh, when it comes to getting uh, Wi-Fi and internet so I uh, really love the product um, please check it out uh, if you're looking for more videos on Starlink, I'll have more videos in the future. I do travel a lot, so I'll be using this here in uh, many places that I go. If it's camping or if it's different cities, I might be having my Starlink connected so I can use that Wi-Fi from Starlink. Um, the beauty about it is secure also, so you don't have to worry about someone uh, breaking into your internet and uh, the security of cyber security is quite awesome. I love the app that uh, SpaceX has It is honestly one of the best app I've seen uh, it's So simple easy to pause easy to continue your subscription. It's a monthly subscription with no contract um, so I can not think of um, a better product from Starlink I think as more customers start using it the price hopefully will go down so it's available to more people and it becomes more uh, practical and that way we are not stranded by or handcuffed by those big corporations that sell us expensive internet um, so hopefully the future looks bright with Starlink I'm really looking forward to uh, what this product will uh, be in the next two three years um, with SpaceX being such a uh, successful um, adventure for uh, uh, Elon Musk and for all the investors I know it'll succeed so I'm really excited for that in the future um, and let's check out the speed of this here if you want more uh, please make sure you subscribe like share leave a comment below and as I get more information um, as there's more updates on Starlink I'll be posting some of the updates for Starlink on this channel so if you want to get that information subscribe like share stay tuned and we'll see you on the next video outside Earth's atmosphere, well, let's be honest, is technologically mind-blowing. What's even crazier is that the Starlink satellites move incredibly fast, around 27,000 kilometers per hour, and data is being sent back and forth between them at hundreds of megabits per second, all while the dish and satellite are continuously angling or steering the beam of data pointed directly between them. On top of that, the dish switches between different satellites every four or so minutes because they move out of the dish's field of view rather quickly. If you have no clue as to how this is possible, stick around because we're going to dive into the multiple key technologies which enable satellite internet to magically work. First, 
We'll explore inside the satellite dish and see how it generates a beam of data that is able to reach space. Second, we'll see how this dish continuously steers the beam so that it points directly at a satellite moving across the sky. And third, we'll dive into what exactly the dish and satellite are sending inside the beam that results in your ability to stream five HD movies or shows simultaneously. This video is quite long as it's full of in-depth details. We recommend watching it first at 1.25 times speed and then a second time at one and a half speed to understand it as a complete technology. So stick around and let's jump right in. First, let's start by clarifying the difference between a television satellite dish, such as this one, and the Starlink ground dish, which Elon Musk dubbed Dishy McFlatface, or Dishy for short. TV dishes use a parabolic reflector to focus the electromagnetic waves, which are the TV signals sent from broadcast satellites orbiting the Earth at an altitude of 35,000 kilometers. TV satellite dishes only receive TV signals from space. They can't send data. Dishy, however, both sends and receives internet data from a Starlink satellite orbiting 550 kilometers away. While the Starlink satellite is 60 times closer than TV satellites, it's still an incredible distance to wirelessly send a signal, and thus the beams between Dishy and the Starlink satellite need to be focused into tight, powerful beams that are continuously angled or steered to point at one another. Compare this to TV broadcast signals, which come from a satellite the size of a van, and whose signals propagate in a wide fan that covers land masses larger than North America. Table-sized Starlink satellites, however, need to be in a low Earth orbit 